Hello crafty friends, today I'm back to show you another Chibitronics light up card. This time I have a simple push LED card for you. I wanted to use this sweet little dragon from my favorite things and I stamped it now with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and colored the little dragon with my Copic markers. I don't know why but I wanted this to be a little bit Valentine's Day inspired but birthday card as I'm not the type of person who sends Valentine's card and here in Germany we we don't do this much so I decided to go for birthday as birthday I always can use. The colors I'm using here for my dragon is um, RV 63, RV 52, RV00 and G quadruple zero, G triple zero and I think it's B23. For this um, fire I can't remember what I used but um, you use what you have. For my little dragon and the fire, I'm using some Spectrum Noir Sparkle Clear Overlay. And now I'm ink blending my background with some spun sugar. This is my Distress Inks I'm using now. And I have here some Perfect Pearls Water Mix and I'm creating some splatters over my card panel. I'm trimming about half an inch from the right side of my card panel because I want there to be some grey stripes later. I'm laying everything down now to figure out where I want the fire and the dragon to be. Um, I'm really sorry because this video is really bad. I have a new camera but I didn't figure out how to set the lightning and everything so this was really bad and as I was filming it didn't look as bad as it really was. So I'm really sorry. Now I stamp my um, fire stamp and cut it out from my card panel because I want the LEDs to shine through. And now as I told you I'm stamping the grey stripes. I'm using here my favorite things background stamp and some Simon Says Stamp Fog ink. And I'm stamping it um, three or four times to get a really good crisp impression. And now you can see how it will look like. I'm placing everything down so I'm really sure that it will work later. I picked up my Chibritronic lights. This time I'm using the orange one from the Tropica sets because I thought as the fire is white, uh, sorry, yellow, orange and red, it will fit perfectly. And now I'm using the Lawn Fawn Puffy Clouds dies to create my clouds. I'm cutting it out from Wellum and one time from my ink blended white card panel and I did here some partial die cutting because I wanted the cloud to be how I wanted it to be. I think it makes sense, right? <laughs> and I'm placing it down and everything is still working. Now I'm placing my battery there where I want it to be, tracing it in. And as always, I like to hide the thickness of the battery, so I'm cutting it down from my card panel. Later, I promise it will all make sense. I'm now using my Chibitronic stencil to paint my LEDs in. For this card, I think I could skip this could have skipped this part as the circuit is really simple. It is just a simple circuit but um, I like to do it for you in the video so you can see everything better. Now I'm 
using my kappa tape to tape everything down and this white strip of cardstock will be my switch later. This is how we always do it, so nothing fancy, just a little cute card with some extra lightning. And I find this image is really perfectly for this kind of card. Um, I'm continuing to create my my circuit. I this time I'm taping my copper tape under my switch because I w was really at the edge of my card panel, so I didn't want that someone could see it from the side. But really nothing fancy. Now it's the other side I'm creating and I'm using my, ball fo my bone folder here to press the copper tape really good to the paper. And now I'm using my LEDs to stick them down. As they are really close together, I'm cutting them at the side. And where this little black something is, you don't cut this. Otherwise, the LED won't work anymore. But if you cut at the sides where I did, it will work okay. So it won't hurt the LEDs. I hope it makes sense and you can see it. I tried to show you. And I'm doing this for all my three LEDs. And each time I'm making sure that all the LEDs are working. And now I'm tapping down my last LED. And the circuit is finished now. So I'm tracing here a line because I want to know where to put my double sided foam tape. I'm using here scotch foam tape because I liked it. Um, don't make the error like me and tape the foam tape as close to the LED as I did because you will see it on the card panel. And I'm using here two times, um, two layers of foam tape. And here I'm cutting apart a little copper tape because sometimes when it is too long it will touch the other side from the battery and then the circuit won't work as well. So sometimes I make this mistake and I have to fix it. This time I left it in because in case it happens to you, you know where the arrow might be. I'm figuring out where to where to tape down my clouds and I'm making here a little sign so I know where to cut. I'm cutting it apart. This for I like my tonic trimmer because it really makes straight lines and I'm using here my some dry glue to tape my clouds down. So I pressed it too hard so the battery will be connected every time to the LEDs and I fixed this mistake. I just ripped it off and taped it down one more time but just lightly. If you want to make sure that the light won't stay on every time you could make three layers of foam tape but I didn't want to I didn't want my cut to be the thick, so I tried it with two layers. Now I used my Tumble Mono Multi Glue to glue down the fire, and I'm using the My Favorite Thing um, interactive label, I think it's called, to um, stamp a little press on some vellum, and I'm taping it to the, I don't know how you call it, uh, from the dragon and um, the sentiment is from lawn form because the ones from my favorite thing I found were too big sometimes for my little strip and I taped it down now. I'm using here some sequins from my uh, from Lucy's little things. This is uh, called XOXO and I'm using here glossy accent to tape it down and this um, 
pencil I'm using is a nail art jewel picker and it works perfectly for sequins and this is so cheap you get about um, five pencil for two euros it's it's really cheap and now my card is finished I hope you enjoyed my tutorial for today and in case you are interested in some more tutorials with um, Chibitronics you can find them here on the screen and in case you aren't um, following this channel you can do it as well so until the next time I hope you have a wonderful weekend bye